old will always become new. Hi, I'm Brian Pombo. Welcome back to Brian J. Pombo Live. Today I wanted to talk about this concept that I've seen most often in dealing with business. And because I'm a business investor, I deal with a lot of different types of businesses. I study a lot more than even the ones I deal with. And I, you see patterns, and these are patterns of human nature. We get certain concepts of something that's new, that's fresh, that's different, that's odd, that's weird, and it never stays the same. That odd, weird thing, you start seeing more and more and more until it becomes normal, and then the thing that was normal then becomes odd and weird. Everything old becomes new, and everything new becomes old. And it's just this constant cycle. And this is true very, very much in business. And anyone that's been involved with, I guess, I would say five to 10 years doing any type of marketing for business, you'll see this trend over and over. And it seems to even be speeding up. I think with technology, it's allowed a lot of these societal issues that have always existed to be able to speed up. But this this comic strip, this is uh, from the Rubes comic strip, uh, uh, Lee Rubin. Uh, I, I think you could find it at rubescartoons.com. I believe that's right. Uh, anyways, I don't own this comic strip or have rights to it. I saw it uh, in social media, so I figured I'd show it to you. Says for those of you listening, it says the amazing untattooed man, and this guy posing uh, with his uh, skin with zero tattoos on them, and it, it posing in a in a way that was very similar to the sideshow circus act, because at one time a person that had an enormous amount of tattoos was odd, was weird, was different, was. Um, avant-garde it was it was a freak a sideshow freak would only do that but see as through the years and really honestly within the past 15 years i would say tattoos have become more and more popular to where a person that is fully tattooed just about nearly all their body covered in tattoos is commonplace nowadays and it's less common to see someone with zero tattoos. Now, that's not making a judgment call one way or the other about tattoos. The point is, is something that was odd and um, really non-conformist has become the conformist end, and the non-conformist is a person that doesn't get a tattoo. And so you see, you see these things, and but this always happens. This happens in everything. This happens uh, in your talking medias of marketing. So at one time, there you had piles of junk mail in your mailbox. I'd say 20 years ago, I'd pull out just a pile out of my mailbox on a daily basis, a huge pile of stuff. Uh, so much so that you, it, it, was, it, it wasn't that effective. There was ways to be effective, but it was tougher back then because there was so much competition. And obviously, some of it must have been effective, otherwise they wouldn't have been spending money on it. But it just seemed like such a waste, such a waste in paper and everything else. And most people were sick of junk mail, and I was when I was younger. And nowadays, you don't get that much unless you have a whole lot of subscriptions, unless you are you donated somewhere or have have um, are, are used to receiving a whole lot of mail, you probably don't receive that much. Not like you used to. A lot of our bills and everything else has become electronic, so on and so on. So in that situation, nowadays, it's more profitable to use direct mail to market to people because there's so little competition, because it's so different. It's so it's, it's almost odd to receive things in the mail, especially a very uh, clear-cut marketing piece that does a good job. You don't see those type of things. So what's old becomes new again. And you'll see the same things with online stuff. There's no doubt. It will, it will always change. It will never be exactly the same. But, but 
something old will become new again, which is why I love studying history, because you always see, you never see a complete repeat of history, but you'll always see history rhyme over time again. Someone will pull in a, out an, an idea, or you can pull out an idea, from something that was done many years ago and be able to renew it in a new way. Because human nature, the weird thing is human nature never really changes. It's just the trends change, the fads, the things that we're into, the things that are in versus the things that are out, the things that are normal versus things that are crazy. Those things change. Societal preferences change. But humans as a whole don't change. Human nature doesn't change. We get used to certain things and then we start going in a different direction, but then we get used to that and we find ourselves eventually back in the same spot, doing the same things. Fashions come and go and then come back again <laughs> 20 years later. It's just how it works. If you realize this, then you'll never completely throw away ideas. You may shelf it for a while. You may take an idea, uh, an advertisement that isn't working today shelve it for a little while and then try it again later and it probably will work it may take a little bit of tweaking to make it fit but um, these ideas if they work one time they will work again eventually so never toss away history never uh, never forget that the tattooed man isn't a freak forever it, it just you just don't see it you don't see something like that stick long term it's, these are short term ideas take advantage of them take advantage of the freaks in your in your neck of the woods to gain attention this is how you get attention at one time anyone suggesting that uh, someone like Donald Trump could be president people would 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 say that's absurd people on all sides of the aisle would say that's absurd and yet it happened so then something that's odd becomes reality so where's that leave reality reality now normal what was one time considered normal is considered odd it's it's you can see it in all forms of nature the best thing to do is just be able to sit back acknowledge it and then see okay how can i use this to my benefit how can i use this in order to gain attention I, I talk all about this the concept of standing out in my book nine ways to amazon proof your business because really the main concept is how do you stand out how do you stand out so much against competitive forces in your industry that they're no longer competition that's the key. Go grab a copy of my book, or you can download a free copy, amazonproofbook.com. That's all I got for tonight. We'll see you tomorrow. In the meantime, get out there and let the magic happen.